Hi, my name is Eric Dahl from Mommy Fit, and today I got a great video for you folks. It's all about how to age proof your body in six, six easy ways. So as I like to say, before we get into this video, let's get into it. So where do we begin when it comes to age proofing your body? Well, the first thing I need you to focus on is functional movements. And what I mean by functional movements are the things that you need to do every day. We need to push, we need to pull, we need to stand and sit out of a chair, we need to carry things, we need to lift, we need to carry. So if you need to do all these things, the exercises you need to do have to simulate these activities. So the only way to do that is to lift something heavy. I may have shared this example before, but I had a lady that I was working with who had a cat and the cat's food was 10 or 15 pounds. And if she was only lifting weights or carrying things that were lighter when it came to doing her training, would she have been able to carry what she needed to do? So when it comes to you, when it comes to you, what you need to do in your regular life, how much weight do you need to carry to still be able to do the activities you love and you need to do? Point number one is lift something heavy. So I just finished mentioning functional exercises and one exercise in particular that I always stress older adults on is standing and sitting out of chairs. But we don't just wanna stand and sit out of it, we need to add power. So you folks have seen me in the past use a kettlebell swing to generate power, which is very important for all of us as we get older, particularly seniors. But we can also add power to functional exercises we do every day. So you may be asking, how do I do it? Well, on a normal sit and stand, you just stand up and you sit down. Pretty simple. But to add power, you make the exercise more explosive. So how you do that is actually change the tempo. So I can either use weights, I'm holding my imaginary weight here, or I can just use my body weight. And just changing the tempo means I go up fast and slowly lower myself down. I can go up fast and I can slowly lower myself down. As you notice, just changing the tempo, making the up portion more explosive adds power. So when it comes to age proofing your body, one complaint I hear from many people is their posture isn't what it used to be. And one reason that that is the case is weak rhomboid or weak back muscles or rear back muscles. So these are the muscles that typically people have that get them to hunch over or to walk in a much more hunched position. So one way or one easy way to actually strengthen your rhomboid muscles is to use a light band. So as you see me doing here, I have the band in a, in a position where my palms are up. And I'm, when I pull it apart, I'm actually working my rear shoulder muscles by pulling it apart with a palms up position. This is easy to do, and I can do it for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. I can do it for every day, as long as I'm pulling it apart. As you notice also, my elbows are nice and tight into my body, which allows me to really work those rear shoulder muscles. So to help your posture and to age-proof your body in another way is to strengthen those rear muscles. So folks, after this, I want you to focus on more on strength than just being cardiovascular or endurance. The reason is, with strength training, you get two for one. If you're doing a full body workout and you're moving at a pretty decent pace through your workout, your heart rate's gonna go up anyway, but you also get the benefit of increasing your metabolism. The more muscle you have, the more your metabolism is higher. The thing that I think that a lot of people do when they focus on walking, running, biking, and all those cardiovascular exercises, they're great for your heart. And the great thing about doing strength training is you get to do two things instead of doing one and get the added benefits. So why wouldn't you wanna do that and save more time in the, in the process? So the one thing I notice for a lot of people as they get older is they don't move as freely. This is when you typically see people shuffle, you see people hunched over, and you just typically see that they don't move as well. Uh, five years ago, 10 years, 20 years, they don't move as well. So what do you do about this? 
Well, number one, we have to address whatever injuries you have. So if you have injuries, you're not doing anything about it. This is one thing that's not gonna allow you to move freely. Two, I would have everyone put in sessions, whether it be a couple times a week where you spend time stretching. You spend time doing your, stretching the main areas, your chest, your hamstrings, your quads, uh, your glutes, your anything around your hip muscles. I would encourage you folks to stretch these areas. If you actually increase your range of motion, it'll reduce your chances of injury, which is what we want to do as we get older. So move more freely, increase your range of motion. Last but not least, folks, and I know it sounds simple, but look at your diet. What do you eat on a daily basis? What do you eat? I mean, you've all heard the line, you are what you eat, and it actually really plays a factor in you aging. Typically, people who eat a lot of processed food, a lot of sugar, they have higher blood pressure, high cholesterol. These are all the things when we hear these terms that actually have you age faster. So the more you're able to look into your food, and I would encourage folks that struggle with this is to write some sort of a plan. Write out what you eat on a daily basis. Write out a list. The more you're accountable to what you see as what you list as what you eat, you're more likely to do something about it. I know plenty of people who eat every day and probably can't even remember what they ate for breakfast or even for lunch. And so you tend to get into a lot of unconscious eating. Also, what I also notice with a lot of people, if they're under a lot of stress or they're busy, they tend to eat foods that are not so good for you. So the more you can plan out your meals and the more you can write things down, it makes a huge difference into age proofing when it comes to what you eat. So folks, what are you doing to age proof your body? I know that I personally want to be able to do the same activities I'm able to do now, five years from now, 10 years from now. What are you doing to make that happen? I would love to hear in the comments below. Is there, are there certain things that you're doing to age proof your body? For those that would love more information on ways to age proof their body, I have some workouts in the comments below. Check them out. Other than that, folks, thank you so much. This is Eric Dahl from Omnifit. Take care.